Jamel Herring's story reads like Hollywood's version of a redemption tale, except he lived it. The death of his baby daughter to Sid, served two tours in Iraq, lost his best friend to lung cancer. Then this Marine veteran fighting on Memorial Day weekend, on the day that would have been his daughter's 10th birthday, and at the age of 33, grabbing the brass ring and winning in his first shot at the title. Very happy to bring in Jamel Herring now on Coast to Coast. Uh, Jamel, we, we saw that scene when the, uh, the ring announcer is saying, and the new, and you knew it. What flashed through your mind when you heard the ring announcer say that? Oh, man, just a mix of emotions. Um, it was just, it just, it just been a long time coming. So, you know, when I heard, when I heard you know, that phrase and, and the new, I just couldn't, I just had to let it out. You know, all the excitement, bless, sweat, and tears. The tears, we, we, that's such a part of your story with the loss of your daughter. What, what kind of a presence was she on that night when you, not, when you stopped Masayuki Ito? Oh, my, my, my daughter, she's always been by my side. I, I call her my guardian angel now. So, you know, when I, when I won that title on her birthday, I, I just felt like, you know, I, I gave her the best birthday gift I can possibly give her. And, I, you know, and, and I, just felt, I just felt good doing it. 33, as you know, it's kind of old for a boxer to get his first title shot, and you, and you made it happen for yourself. On this long journey for yourself, Jamel, what was the low point where you wondered, hey, maybe I'll never even get a shot at the title? Um, probably about maybe two years ago, two years ago now, when I um, was basically at my, at my lowest in my career, and I, had, and I knew I had to make a change. And that's when, you know, my new trainers, trainers came in place, Red Spikes, um, Brian McIntyre, Saul Diegas, and, of course, um, Top Rank. You know, they all came along and, you know, lifted me back up and gave me that extra drive and motivation to, to continue going. All right, so you, you've, you've tried it on. Now, how does it feel to be the champ? Oh, it feels good. Like, um, I, I've been getting, like, a lot of support in the, um, the last few days. Um, to be honest, you know, it's crazy because I've had the same phone number since my, <laughs> after my first deployment. You know, and I'm getting calls from people that, you know, I haven't heard in a while. But <laughs> it's okay. It's, you know, I'm, it's, it's all good in the end. <laughs> uh, I, I happened to look on some video, and you did something unusual after the fight. There's a, a shot of you going up to Ito and giving him the belt. What was going on right. here? Right. Um, like I said, boxing is, is a, you know, a hectic, brutal sport at times. But in, in the end, it's still a sport. And um, I, I'm, I have sportsmanship. That's how I've been raised, you know, the show class. And, like, throughout the whole buildup, Ito, he was, he, was respect he was a respectable guy. He, he never said, you know, anything negative. So I felt that it was right that, you know, I showed my love and respect by, you know, giving him his title, you know, which he, which he um, earned. And, you know, just going on about my day. Like I said, I got the victory, so there was no need to be ugly and nasty about it in the end. Uh, it, listen, unbelievably gracious gesture, but you don't physically have the belt anymore? It's, it's his now? I mean, I'm getting my own. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm, I'm, I'm getting mine. <laughs> it okay. doesn't believe, but, you know, that's just a, a, a tradition that we do in boxing. You know, like I said, he earned the belt. Um, you know, it's his belt. I gave it back, and I'm just waiting, you know, patiently for mine to come, but that, that just, you know, that just, that just goes to show the type of guy that I am. Uh, absolutely. Uh, we look forward to see what you, you come up with next, Jamel Herring. Congratulations. A wonderful story and richly deserved for you to get that title. Thank you.